another exciting lesson in science. Today we will be looking at materials. Before we start this lesson, let's look at our objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to know some examples we get from materials. Some examples we get from materials. You should be, you should be able to know the properties of materials. The properties of materials. Before we begin our lesson, let's look at our keywords. Our first keyword is materials. Materials. So when we say materials, they are the things from which useful things are made from. So anything from which useful things are made from is called materials. The next keyword is properties. Properties. So properties, they are characteristics that can be used to describe a material. So the features, how the thing behaves, that is what the properties. Now, last week we talked that we talked about some materials and it was examples. We said we have glass, we have paper, we have wood, we have metal, and the rest. Today we are going to divide our lesson into two. We will look at some mater materials we have and its properties and some of the uses of it. So the first material we are going to talk about is glass. Glass. So glass is made from fine sand. Glass is strong and clear. So if something is clear, the thing is transparent. Things that you can see through, they are what? Transparent. So glass is what? Transparent. Now look on your screen. Yes. So glass can be used for drinking glasses. Drinking glasses. Out of glass, we get what? Drinking glasses. Out of glass, we get bottles. Yes. Out of glass, we get bottles. Out of glass, we get windows. The sliding window is made from what? Glass. The spectacles that your friends wear, they are also made from glass. Very good. Now let's move on to the next material, which is paper. So paper is very what? Important material. Many things around us are made from paper. Yes, you can look around. Good. So, we can see through papers. Can you see through papers? No. So, this makes them a very what, good material for writing and drawing. Some papers are hard. Yes, some are hard. Some are light and soft. So, the properties of paper paper is that it is what it is hard it is light and soft so we can get paper files toilet rolls tissues egg crates and the rest from paper so look on your screen yes you have paper files there toilet roll there toilet rolls teach tissues egg crates paper bag and the rest now let's move on to our next material which is cotton have you seen a cotton before yeah cotton so most of our things or most of the things we wear are made from cotton now let's look at some of the properties of cotton so cotton are smooth in texture they are very what smooth and soft yes we get jeans, towels, t-shirts from what? From cotton. Cotton is used for making textiles. Yes, the fabrics and the rest, the thread, they are made from cotton. Bear sheets, duvet, covers and bear spread are made from cotton. Now, is this not interesting? Yes, it is. Let's move on to our last material, which is what? Rubber. Rubber. Some items we use at home 
are made from what? From rubber. A lot. You can look around. Yes. So let's look at some properties of rubber. So rubber can be stretched. Yes. Rubber can be stretched. You can take the rubber band and stretch it. It can be stretched and will not what? Break easily. When you stretch it, it won't break easily. So rubber is used for car ties. Have you seen the car tie? Yes, it is made of rubber. We have balls. The balls that the children use to play. They are made from rubber. Yes. The next one is erasers. The erasers that we use to erase our mistakes in school. It's made of rubber. We have the rubber sandals, which is common during rainy season. Girls wear that. We have the rubber slippers. Have you seen the rubber slippers before? Yes, it is so common. The flip flop and the rest, they are all made from rubber. Now children, we've come to the end of our lesson. Let's quickly go through what we did today. We looked at the properties of what some materials we have. We looked at the property of what glass. We said glass is transparent. It is what we can see through. And we looked at some examples of things we get from glass. We can get glass bottles. We get spectacles. Windows, windows, and the rest. We have that's a sliding window. We have papers. So papers, we said it is what it is not transparent. We can't see through. For paper, we can get toilet roll. We can get flip. Uh, we can get tissues. We can get egg crates and the rest. We have cotton on the other hand, which is very common. We use cotton for so many things. It can be used for jeans, for t-shirts, for bed spread, bed sheets, and the rest. And the last one was rubber. So rubber is used for rubber sandals, for balls, and the rest. So we said rubber is very well stretchy. Okay, now be good children and always wash your hands with soap and water. We will meet on Zoom and discuss a lot concerning this lesson. Till I come your way, bye bye.